Hey everyone, thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. And today what we're looking at is how to write and solve inequalities in context or in a word problem. So let's begin. Alright, so in a previous video I talked about how to solve uh, word problems or at least set them up in using a tape diagram in order to visually see the, the problem in order to, the, to write the inequality. So today what I want to do, and you can still use that tape diagram method here, but today what I want to do is use a table, give you another tool in your toolbox in order to solve these problems. Okay, so let's take a look. So Isaac has a points card for a movie theater. He receives 65 reward points just for signing up, and he earns 12.5 points for each visit that he goes to the movie theater. He needs at least 210 points for a free movie ticket. Okay, so we're going to set up a table to get a better understanding of what we got here. All right, so let's see. Matter of fact, let's just draw it out. All right, so I got a table. All right, and... Over here on one side, I got the total points. And on my left side, I've got the visits, every visit. And you can put T for total points or V for visit. All right. And let's say he hasn't had any visits at all. Well, He's already given 65 reward points. So at zero visits, he's at 65. Okay, so let's say he's at one visit. So it'll be 65 plus the 12.5. Let's say he has two visits. Well, it'll be 65 plus the 12.5 times 2. Let's say he's at three visits. It'd be 65 plus 12.5 times three, right? So for every visit, we're adding another 12.5 and we're multiplying about the number of visits here. You see how you got three visits, three times 12.5, two visits, two times 12.5, and so on. Okay, so we know that when you get to X amount of visits, we're going to do 65 plus 12.5 times X amount of visits. So it's 12.5 times X. So this is how we get the total points for every visit that he does. But what we need to do is make sure that he has at least... 210 so that at least is a key word here that lets us know that it's going to be greater than or equal to so it has to be greater than or equal to 210 points so that's what i'm gonna write 65 plus 12.5 times the number of visits we have to equal or be greater than or equal to 210. Okay. So now once we get that set up, all we got to do is just solve the inequality. This is a two-step inequality here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. I am going to subtract 65 on both sides. That's going to get me 12.5x is greater than or equal to 145. Then I'm going to divide by 12.5. This will cancel out and leaving x is greater than or equal to 
All right, let's take a look at another example. And I'm going to set up a, a table just like I did there. All right, I'm going to zoom in on this here. All right, so a group of friends want to go to the amusement park. They have no money. I'm sorry, they have no more <laughs> than 150 to spend on parking and admissions. Parking is 1050 and the tickets cost $15 per person, including tax. Write and solve the inequality which could be used to determine P, the number of people who can go to the amusement park. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and set up a table here. Okay, on one side I got the total amount of money, and on the left side here I got how many people. Okay, so with zero tickets or zero people going, and you, if you just had the parking, you look at it 1050. Okay. With one person going 1050 plus $15. With two people going, it's 1050 plus 15 times two. And you can kind of guess how it's going here. Okay, so we don't know how many tickets we can buy, but we know that if we bought for the number of people, we have to multiply times the cost of the tickets plus the fifteen dollars for par I mean the ten fifty for parking. Now, do parentheses and just do a P. All right, so now we'll come over here, and I'm going to look for the key word. All right. And the key word here is no more than $150. So can it be $150? Yes. But does it have to be less than $150? Yes. So it has to be less than or equal to $150. All right, so uh, I'm going to take this part here. This 1050 plus 15P. And it has to be less than or equal to $150. Now all we got to do is just solve the inequality. So subtract 1050 on both sides. Bring down my 15P. It's less than or equal to 139. And then just divide by 15. And P is less than or equal to 9.3. Okay. So do you have 9.3 people? Of course not. <laughs> but you can't have 10. You can only buy 9 tickets. Okay. All right, go ahead and pause the video here.
All right, so the answer you should get is 4.7. You should get 4.7 here, okay? So uh, we got four, 46 50 per month, $5 per gigabyte, and we want it to be under $70, right? So we go multiply the number of gigabytes times $5 plus the 46 50 So that has to be less than $70. So then once you have that set up, you solve, subtract 4650 on both sides, then divide by 5, and G is less than, not equal to, 4.7. So it's 4.7 gigabytes a month, and she has to stay below that if she wants to stay under $70. Okay, that's it. That is... Uh, write and solve inequalities in context uh, using the table method here. I want to thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. Have a nice day.